Hey there, and welcome back to another How to ETH tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can send an ERC20 token to an Ethereum address. Now, this is something that confused me when I first started out in crypto, because let's say you have a token that's an ERC20, which means that it's built on the Ethereum network. For example, Chainlink. So I have some Chainlink right now in this account, and I want to send it off this exchange to a more secure location. Well, how does that work, and how do you get the wallet address to send this to? That's what I'm gonna break down in this video. Now, quickly, before I do that, let me run through some of the top ERC20 tokens, because Chainlink is definitely one of them, but there's a lot. In fact, most of the cryptos or tokens or coins that you can think of are likely actually ERC20 tokens built upon the Ethereum network, unless they're a layer one blockchain, like Solana, like Avalanche, like Cosmos, and there's others, but I'm not gonna run through the full list here. Anyways, on Etherscan, you can see a list of the different types of ERC20 tokens. And in fact, you can see that there's over 500,000 of them. So, you know, way more than you'll ever need to know about, but this shows the largest by total market cap. So you can see a lot of the stable coins are actually built on Ethereum. BNB chain as well. But if I just keep going down, you know, there's tons and tons and tons of these. And so if you have any of these tokens, for example, Uniswap or Sandbox tokens, if you have any of these tokens and you want to send them to yourself, what you have to do is send them to an Ethereum address, an Ethereum wallet address. So let me show you how to do that using MetaMask. This is my MetaMask account, howtoeth.eth, and this right here is the string of letters and numbers that is the identifier for this wallet address. And it's the same thing if you're using a different wallet, either a web browser wallet, or if you have a ledger or a trezor. You know, when I first wanted to send some ERC20 tokens to my ledger, I didn't really understand how to do it until I finally actually realized all you have to do is copy the address for your Ethereum account and then send the ERC20 tokens to that. And they'll show up on the blockchain underneath that. And so it's quite simple. All you have to do is copy your Ethereum address, go to wherever you're sending it from. And in my case, I'm sending these Chainlink tokens from a centralized exchange here, but you could be sending them from anywhere. So what I'm gonna do is withdraw this Chainlink. And when I'm inputting my address, I'm just inputting my Ethereum address. And that's the key point here. So I'm gonna send one link token to myself and skip through the next few steps and bring you to where it pops up in my MetaMask account. Okay, so back over to MetaMask, you can see that no Chainlink tokens have popped popped up in my account here. But not to worry, if you've sent tokens to your Ethereum address and you don't see them showing up in MetaMask, it's a simple fix. Your tokens are safe on the blockchain. All you have to do is import the list of tokens that you're storing in this wallet address here. So if I click this button, it's gonna pop up and allow me to search for tokens. So if I put in, oops, chain link, it's gonna show up here. And if I click on that and hit next, it's going to automatically update this. So if I hit import tokens, now it's gonna show me my balance of chain link in this account. Now it might take a minute or two because the transaction needs time to process, but eventually my one link token is gonna to show up here and now it's gonna be in my MetaMask account associated with this Ethereum wallet address. Now, while we wait for that to come through, let me show you another way that you can import tokens. So let's say that you're searching something up and it doesn't come up in the list of tokens. Well, you can actually import a custom token. And the best way to do that is to go back over to Etherscan, find the token that you're looking for. And again, I'll just use the example of Chainlink, but you know, it could be any one of those over 500,000 ERC20 tokens. And right here, you'll have the information that you need to bring this, import this over to MetaMask. So if I go back over here, you can see that it's asking for the token contract address and symbol and the number of decimals. And over here, you have all that information provided. So you can just copy paste this over to MetaMask for any ERC20 token. And if you send the token to your Ethereum address, it will show up in MetaMask and you'll be good to go. One final pro tip, and this is probably an even easier way to do it. If you hit on this button here that says more with the little arrow, it's gonna show this that says add token to MetaMask. And if you hit that, it's going to allow you to add it. Uh, now, I already have added it, so I'm not gonna do it again there. But if I go back over to MetaMask, you can see the transaction has confirmed. I now have a balance of one link token. And there you have it. Again, you can do this for any ERC20 token. If you need to check to see if your cryptocurrency is an ERC20 on the Ethereum network, you can refer to etherscan.io. Hopefully you found this tutorial helpful and I'll see you in the next one.